Hey guys, so today we are going to be breaking down the incoming Piccolo Jr. and Goku on the upcoming Mega Rising banner from the 23rd World Tournament, part of the episode campaign Dragon Ball Saga. Uh, so the game is in full maintenance. There's server maintenance going on, which means we can't even like log in or access the game right now. So we are going to have to take a look at these characters' kits via data mines. Uh, so shout out to Graz Dog for the data mines here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Piccolo Jr. first. I want to try and get through this as quickly as possible. I, I Recently, these kits have been so long that these videos have been dragging on for a really long time. So we'll try and get through this as fast as we can while still, um, you know, absolutely breaking down these kits. Okay. So Piccolo Jr. Uh, we know he's a red character and then we know Goku is green. Uh, by the way, there is also a green Chi Chi Zenkai Awakening coming out, I presume today also. So we're going to go over that as well. So we're getting a banner and a Zenkai Awakening, I, I think, today. Pretty uh, pretty busy week here. So let's go over Piccolo Jr. first. So his main ability, you should be careful what you ask for. Draw the Ultimate Arts card, Demon Ray Barrage, next. Uh, he gets 20% health and 50 key. Restores allies other than this character's health by 10%. So he's actually healing the whole team by 10%. Uh, nullify own unfavorable element factors for 30 counts. So he actually can go type neutral for 30 counts. That's going to be pretty important because there's so many blue characters right now. <laughs> like we can we can go over to the uh, the character list here. We have uh, let me just like all the recent blue characters that are released. We have Android 8. We have Namek Goku. We have I mean, I don't really see Jason Burter too often, but Burter side is blue. Uh, we have the Frieza side of Goku and Frieza. Of course, we have Zenkai sort of hope trunks. You see Zamasu every now and then. Uh, Beast Gohan is floating around here and there. So, I mean, there's a lot of blue units that uh, still exist. This character, I mean, we'll see. We'll see if they get like a Zenkai or something. <laughs> I don't know. But blue is a very, very prominent uh, color right now. So that's good that he gets typing draw. And 30 counts is a decent amount of time as well. So that's cool. Uh, okay, so 25 counts must elapse. So the first unique ability, a monstrous return. There's a pretty long unique ability here. Applies the following effects to self when battle starts. 90% damage inflicted. Reduces damage received by 65%. They couldn't have just made that 70. All right, we'll see if he gets damage reduction elsewhere. But uh, yeah, I mean, 70 is what we're looking for now. I mean, the difference between 65 and 70 is not like uh, uh, immense, but I would have preferred if that was just 70 instead of 65. 50% uh, secure recovery. Okay, that's good. Um, card draw speed unconditionally, uncancelable. Nice. Minus three to arts cost and then plus 20% to health restoration. Following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. He gets 25 key on entry, 70% damage inflicted. Okay, so he's he's literally entering the battlefield. He's getting 160% damage inflicted. That's pretty good. Reduces enemy key by 20. That's going to be nice on cover change for disruption. Inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade, minus 10% to strike, blast, and special move arts power for 15 counts. That's, it's not like... Oh my god, that's a game-breaking ability, but that's nice to have. Um, the Arts Power debuff effects that we've been seeing recently. I mean, this trend started last year, because I believe they introduced that mechanic with Superhero Pan, I believe. And I think she was the first character to ever introduce the Arts Power ability or mechanic into the game. Um, but yeah, this, this is nice to have. I mean, basically, it's every attack the enemy could do besides like ultimates and Rising Rush. So that's nice. Applies the following effects to self, uh, sorry to enemy if there are tag if they are if they are oh they are a tag Saiyan so the current switched in enemy if they are a Saiyan this is what's going to happen to them seals strike arts for three counts interesting he seals so that's that's blue Kaioken is it not activates five times um, I mean that's that's this guy's effect right you know why this is powerful where is this. Let's see if I can find this effect here. Here it is. Seals enemy strike cards every time in face of an enemy. The sealed cards cannot be used for two counts. So this guy actually seals it for three counts. Um, now this is happening upon his entry, whereas with Blue Kaioken, it's whenever he's faced with an enemy. So if the enemy switches into Blue Kaioken, their strike cards will be locked. That is not the case with this Piccolo Jr. But the reason this is powerful is because you can switch into Piccolo Jr. in mid-range and just go for a tackle, and they can't counter your tackle, right? They can't strike through your tackle because it's locked. So that was something that was super powerful with, like, Blue Kao Ken. Uh, Zenkai Green Fat Boo also has a similar effect to that, so uh, uh, we know how that works now. Um, and then he cancels attribute upgrades once. Interesting. 
Uh, applies the following effects to self when this character uses a strike or blast arts. Restores health by 3% and then uh, restores key by 5. That's nice. I mean, a bit more healing. Uh, so he, I mean, he is getting 20% to health restoration at the start of the fight. So that's going to be a little bit more than 3%, but that's, that's pretty good. Uh, and then applies the following effects to self according to the number of timer counts elapsed with current character. Uh, three counts elapsed, 30% damage inflicted. That's permanent. Oh, these are going to be permanent. Okay, this is... I was kind of worried because typically when we see like time-gated buffs like this, uh, it's not really the greatest thing at this point in the game's lifespan. But if it's going to be permanent like this and it's only going to be three, five, and eight counts, that's not that bad. Uh, so five counts elapsed, increases card draw speed. Okay, so he's getting double card draw speed just permanently. Um, that's really good. And then eight counts elapsed, applies attribute upgrade. 30% enemy sustained damage cut effect. Okay, so he's just stacking up tons and tons of offensive power. So, assuming you're switched in with Piccolo Jr. for eight counts, he's getting 90% damage inflicted just for start of the fight, 70%. So, he's getting 160% damage here. Then he's getting 190% total with this. He has double card draw speed and he has minus 30% to enemy sustained damage cut. That is a very, very strong offensive set of abilities that this character is doing um i mean i guess it, it says effect no this is actually not permanent because it says effects reset after character switch so i guess it's not permanent never mind i miss i misunderstood that because usually when it says cannot be okay so it, i guess the way it works is it cannot be canceled but it's only for the duration of when he switched in for i guess that's how this is going to work but 30% damage after three counts. I mean, so how I guess I guess what we're gonna be looking for here is how often are you gonna be switching into this character defensively? Because then you're gonna be more often um Well, I guess you're gonna be more likely to get the full eight counts elapsed with this character. I mean, eight counts is not that long. We'll see, we'll see. Um so then when he switches back out, these effects are gonna go away, which is fine. I mean, these are these are like double card draw after five counts, that's really strong. That, that is very strong. Okay, so let's take a look at the second unique ability, the Demon King's Successor. Knocks enemy back to long range of cover change performed against their strike arts. Yeah, we knew this from the, uh, the, 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 the preview. Combo bolt with the blue card. Following effects occur when changing cover. Nullifies own unfavorable element factors for damage sustained for five counts. Activates three times. Okay, so he has multiple ways of going defensively type neutral. Of course, he can go type neutral just offensively and defensively via his main ability. Let me just quickly check something. Yeah, so... I guess the only thing to note about this type neutrality is that this is cancelable. It doesn't say cannot be cancelled on here. So, I mean, it does last for 30 counts, but keep in mind that this can be cancelled. Um, so, I mean, that's something to remember, but he can gain defensive type neutrality for cover changing three times. That's, that's pretty good. Again, there's a lot of blue characters that exist right now. Okay. Uh, and then restores ally health by 5% activates three times. And then reduces enemy key by 20, activates three times. So he's healing the team and he's reducing enemy key by 20 upon cover change. Don't forget, he's also reducing enemy key by 20 when he's entering the battlefield. So he's he's actually reducing enemy key by 40, which is pretty good when changing cover. I'll take that. Falling effects occur when enemy performs a vanishing step while this character is on the battlefield. Okay, so the, this is the red Kefla mechanic. 15% to damage inflicted for 15 counts, increases own Dragon Balls by one. That's pretty good. Uh, and then inflicts all enemies that have downgrade, minus one to card draw speed for five counts. I mean, that, that's nice if you get, if you get like PV'd on this character. Um, if you get PV'd while this guy's on the battlefield, the enemy at least has minus one card draw speed for five counts. I guess that's nice, but it's not really too crazy. Falling effects occur when hit with an enemy's arts attack while this character's in the battlefield. Shortens allies sub count by two, activates once. And then that resets. That is, isn't that just the gamma effect? Let me just see something. Let me go to the gammas. Pretty sure they have the same exact thing. It reduces enemy sub count by two. Uh, this is, the gammas have like the longest kit in the game or something. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see if I can find this. Give me one second, I'm gonna pause and I'll be right back. Here we go. Falling effects occur when hit with an enemy's arts attack. So yeah, they also reduce sub count by two for allies, um, which is nice. Uh, 
So we kind of know how strong that is with the Gammas already having that. Uh, activation, okay, that resets when character switches. Reduces enemies' Dragon Balls by one. Activates once. Okay. So that's pretty strong because you can save that for a cover change. So when you cover change with Piccolo Jr., he has a strike cover change, special cover change. He's reducing enemy key by 40. He's healing the team. He's going type neutral, and he's reducing enemy Dragon Balls by one. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Falling effects also occur if own remaining health is 70% or below. This is when he gets hit with an arts card. Uh, restores allied regen, Dragon Ball, or tag powerful opponent's health by 10%. So he's healing by 10% again for the team. So it's 15% healing. 5% on cover change, and then 10% when he's actually hit for the first time. 20% uh, of damage inflicted by allied tag, regen tag, Dragon Ball, or powerful opponent, because he's supporting too. And he's reducing enemy Dragon Balls by one again. So you can kill two Dragon Balls here. One when he's hit by an Arts card, and then another one when he's below 70%. Falling effects occur when enemy activates Rising Rush while this character is on the battlefield. Activates once. Shortens ally's sub count by 10. Wow, that's the uh, tag Goku. That's the Super Saiyan 4 tag Goku and Vegeta ability. And then he also cancels enemies' buff effects. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. This guy's doing a lot of interesting things. I, I like this character, I think. Um, it's gonna... So I think in terms of what's gonna make this character like next level good or just very good... Is going to depend on how likely you are to consistently have the full eight count buff active. So the extra damage, the extra card draw speed, and then the uh, the sustained damage cut penetration ability. Uh, okay, so his blue card is the demonic wave destruction. Deals massive impact damage. Falling effects occur upon activation. Thirty percent special move damage for three counts, uh, and then enemy that's downgrade minus thirty percent to health restoration for ten counts. And we know this is a long range blue card because we saw that in the preview. Uh, and then we have his green card, which is the Torrential Demon Power. Restores own key by 40. This is a stop time green card. Uh, so key by 40, 20% 20 damage inflicted for 15 counts. Nullifies enemies destroy card effects to sell for five counts. That's pretty good. And then he gets cover null for 10 counts. Yeah, that's pretty good. He can't have his hand destroyed for five counts. Ah, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm just trying to think, cause like when you're thinking of all the best characters in the game, again, I say this like every breakdown video now, they all have broken green cards. Like they're all just doing way too many things, the green cards. So I'm just trying to think in my head, like how does this green card stack up against like all the other best characters in the game, green cards. I mean, this is giving cover. This, this is his only way of getting cover null, um, but it's still pretty good. It's 10 counts of cover null there. Uh, and then he's getting destroy card effect null, nullification too, which is pretty good. Uh, this is only for five counts though. So I'm not sure how crazy it's going to be, but I guess it can, it can put in some work. Uh, and then Z ability is 35% to tag Dragon Ball regen or powerful opponent blast attack and strike defense. And then 18% to Dragon Ball blast defense. So it looks like he's going to be a blast unit, I guess, which is interesting because typically what we see with blast characters is uh, minus 10 to blast cost, which we don't see here. He's just getting minus three to arts cost. Um, He's getting 25k on entry. He's getting 50% to key recovery. I could, I could actually see this guy potentially maybe having key issues, actually. That's the one area I'm a little bit concerned with, but we'll see. He potentially, if you have like the, the double card draw speed up, um, I could maybe see, well, I mean, maybe not because he gets five key per card used actually, which is kind of, it's going to offset the fact that he doesn't have the cost reduction. Okay. Maybe not. We'll see though. We'll see. All right. So let's pick a low junior. Let's move on to Goku. We know that Goku is green. Uh, this is going to be a long video. I apologize. I, I, I'm trying to go as fast as I can, but I want to cover everything in detail. All right, so this is a green Goku here. Here's a surprise for me to you, which is the main ability. Jaws Ultimate Arts card, Meteor Combination. Finally, we get the Meteor Combination in the in Legends. Uh, so he heals 30% and gets 50 key. So he gets a little bit more healing on his main than Piccolo does. Shortens ally subcount by five and then cancels enemy attribute upgrades. 
Shortening sub count by five is nice for the whole team. Uh, all right, so first unique ability, we have the Root of Resilience. Applies the following effects to self when battle starts, 90% damage inflicted. Reduces damage received by 60%. Uh, so with Piccolo Jr., he gets 65, which I'm like, yeah, I wish this was 70, but uh, okay, I'll, I guess I'll take 65. When we start to get to 60, that's not good enough. This is not, 60% is not good enough. I'm sorry, it's not. All right. Uh, minus five to Blaster's cost. Falling effects also occur if there are two tag Dragon Ball battle members other than this character in the party. So this is just basically if you're running a full Dragon Ball team, which is nice. I mean, it's, it's disincentivizing that you're running this character next to like Goku and Freeze. <laughs> uh, all right, so 50% damage inflicted and then 20% to own health restoration. Okay. I was looking for more defense here. Inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade minus one to arts card draw speed for 15 counts. So that is at the battle start. So the, the start of the fight, he's reducing enemies card draw speed for 15 counts, which is interesting. So if the end up, if the enemy ends up uh, getting the jump on you early, they're not going to be able to combo for a ridiculously long period of time, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. Randomly draws one new card, bringing three fewer cards. That's pretty good. 30% damage inflicted for 20 counts. So assuming you're running a full Dragon Ball team, he'll be at like 170% damage. Okay. Shortens allies sub count by two when entering the battlefield. That's like a mini EX 18 ability. Reduces enemy key by 50. That's pretty good. Activates twice. Inflicts enemy dash with downgrade minus 30% to key recovery for 10 counts. These two things compare or combined with each other is pretty good. Reducing enemy key and then also reducing their key recovery on top of that is pretty strong. I'll take that. Um, this only activates twice. I mean, I wish it would have I wish it would have been at least like four times. I don't know why it's only, five, only uh, twice, but whatever. This is strong. 50 key reduction on the entering the battlefield is nice because it's going to obviously activate on cover change. Falling effects also occur if there is a tag Dragon Ball, tag Saiyan, or tag Sun Family battle member other than this character in the party. Uh, restores own key by 20. Okay, that's good. He's getting key on entry. Reduces damage received. Okay, there we go. He gets more damage reduction there. Um, I still don't think this is... So it's like, when you look at the baseline stats, so he's getting 60% reduced damage received. You can't just like add this 10% to the 60% and then he's getting 70%. That's not how it works. I would have just preferred if he had 70% here instead of this. Like, honestly, just delete this. Delete this reduces damage received by 10% and just make it 70 here. Because this is not really going to... I mean, it's nice that he has this, but it's not really going to make a ton of difference just due to how it's calculated. Um, effect resets after character switch. Restores ally health by 10%. Hmm. That's interesting. So he's he's healing the entire team by 10% when he enters the battlefield. That's pretty good. All right. Um, martial Artist's Pride. Cover change against strike cards. But he can't... Oh, he actually can't combo this. Huh. He cannot combo his cover change with his blue card. It's, it's interesting. Falling effects occur when this character switches to standby. Restores ally key by 20... 15% of damage inflicted by allies for 15 counts, and then reduces enemy key by 10. Hmm. Reduces enemy key by 10. So when he enters the battlefield, he's reducing enemy key by 50, and then when he leaves the battlefield, he's reducing enemy key by 10. I'm just trying to think of, like, what are they expecting you to combo this with? Because it's not like... 10 is not a lot. Like, let, let, let's be real. This is not... Uh, <laughs> Reducing enemy key by 10 is not going to really cripple uh, many characters here. I guess, what are they expecting you to run this guy with, like, yellow Roshi? Because remember, Roshi reduces enemy key by 50 when he cover changes twice. So, I mean, you could reduce enemy key by 60 if you combine this with Roshi, I guess. But, eh, uh, I, mean, I wish it was more. I wish it was, like, at least 25 here, but it's fine. All right, so falling effects occur according to the number of timer counts elapsed from battle start. 20 counts, 15% damage inflicted by allies. I guess we're supporting allies for 15% damage. Um, effects active, sorry, effect activates even if this character is defeated. Okay. So if he dies within the first 20 counts, he's still going to activate this. Uh, 40 counts elapsed, increases card draw speed by one level, and minus five going arts cost. Okay. That is his only card draw speed, is it not? 
Yeah, he doesn't get card draw speed in his uh, like base spread here. Uh, 60 counts elapsed, 30% damage inflicted. That's only to himself. 60 counts is a long, a long time. I mean, he's getting a lot of. Remember, he's getting this 15% is going to apply to himself. So this is this is 45. Uh, he's getting 30 here. That's 75. 50 here. That's 125. And then 90 here. It's like 215% damage inflicted with everything factored. Now that's actually a lot. He's getting a lot of damage here, but I mean, 60 counts is a while. Falling effects occur if an uh, own remaining health is 50% or below after being hit by an enemy's arts attack while this character is on the battlefield. Activates once. Is that... Let me see something here. Pretty sure that is... Uh, this is like... Hold on, let me see if I can pull this up. That's this guy, is it not? Uh, let me see... Falling effects occur every time when hit with an enemy strike, blast, mushroom, move, ultimate, or awaken while the schedule on the battlefield when own health is 50% or below. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much the same exact thing as that blue Vegeta from the fourth year anniversary. Restores health by 20%. 30% to allies key recovery, which looks like it's cancelable. Inflicts enemy that we downgrade plus 10 to special move arts cost. Seals enemy strike arts for three counts. Hmm. I wish this did something else. You know what? They, they should have just slapped this on there. You know, slap both of them on there. Fill the entire enemy hand and reduce key by 100. I mean, this is fine. He's healing himself, right? He's giving key recovery to the whole team. And he's stealing strike arts. Like, I mean, it's it's not the greatest ability, but I guess I'll take it. Um, applies the following effects to self when enemy activates rising rush. Shorten node sub count by 10 and then restores own health by 30% only once when it reaches zero. Hmm. So he's getting endurance when the enemy activates rising rush. And you very clearly want to run that. So I'm just trying to think of how you can practically use that because it's very, they're obviously pushing you to use this character on Dragon Ball because of the extra effects he's getting from the full team being Dragon Ball. Piccolo Jr. gets this. Cancels enemy buff effects. I'm pretty sure. So I'm obviously worried about, um, obviously worried about, where is this? this where's Gogeta's where is his rising rush effect this is, here it is so this is obviously the main reason why endurance has become less good recently I mean we have characters like Ultra Kid Boo and Blue LF17 who have like actual uncancelable endurance like so this endurance effect where is it not this this endurance effect technically says cannot be cancelled but if this guy's on the battlefield when ultra vegeto blue or ultra gojito blue rushes i'm pretty sure he just dies right because we could take a look at like any other character that has endurance it's like this super vegeto let's see what his says um let's see yeah, so like, restores own health by 30% only once when it reaches zero cannot be canceled. That's, I'm pretty sure that's the same exact wording, right? Yeah, it's literally the same exact wording. And we all know that if this if this Super Vegeta gets rushed by Vegeta Blue, he's, he's dead, right? So this is not technically uncancelable endurance because it, it can be canceled by the Ultra Blue Fusions. But I'm just trying to think. My question is going to be, and I think, I think this actually is the case. Are these considered buff effects? I think they are. I don't think they're attribute upgrades. And the reason why that's significant is because if you're running this Goku next to Piccolo Jr. and Piccolo Jr. Where is Piccolo Jr.? Uh, no, here, here. Um, if Piccolo Jr. is on the battlefield when the enemy activates a rising rush, he's going to cancel 
this. He's canceling this, assuming it's a buff effect. And then what you can do is you can immediately switch into Goku, because remember, this should activate even if Goku is on standby. Goku will be able to switch in and um, survive the Rising Rush with his Endurance. So, um, And then I guess something else to mention as well is when this Goku's Endurance is popped, this will activate, right? This effect will activate because it's going to fulfill the condition. Own remaining health is going to be 50% or below after he's hit by an Arts attack. Well, I guess actually, if the, if the if the Endurance gets popped by a Rush, I guess it's not going to activate this. But assuming the endurance is popped by just like a normal arts attack, it's gonna it's gonna activate this effect here, which is pretty good. So. Okay, um, let's take a look at the blue card. Super Kamehameha deals mass impact damage, twenty percent of damage inflicted by uh, sorry for three counts. Sure, inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade minus one to arts card draw speed for ten counts. Hmm. Okay. The green card is stealing the victory. Thirty key. Oh, there's card draw speed. There's another instance of card draw speed for 10 counts. So after 40 counts have elapsed, he's going to have double card draw speed with the green card activated. Um, applies attribute upgrade, shortened sub count by three to self. Cannot be stacked. Uh, and then reset. So yeah, so you use this on him, you switch out, and he's going to have a seven timer count, uh, you know, countdown to being able to be switched back into, and then it's going to reset to 10. 20% uh, damage inflicted by allies for 20 counts, and then inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 20% to damage received for 20 counts. Okay. 20% damage received for 20 counts. This couldn't have been all enemies? I guess? I don't know. Um, how good is this green card? I, you know what I wish this green card had? I wish this green card had uh, sub count down for the whole team. I mean, he gets it on main ability, but like... Superhero Pan, who's a year old, gets subcount down for the whole team on main ability and green card. So I, I wish this had subcount down for allies here. Z abilities, Dragon Ball, Saiyan, Sun Family, Strike, and Blast defense, and then 18% of Dragon Ball Blast attack. So it looks like they really are rounding the Dragon Ball team to being a Blast team, which is really sad for Android 8 because he's like the only Strike-based character on the team. <laughs> Uh, like Kid Goku's blast, Roshi's blast, Piccolo Jr. looks like he's blast, and this, this, this Goku, I mean, he's more of a supporting character, but he also looks like he's blast based. So, Android 8, I mean, it's kind of sad because Android 8, Androids is also blast based, right? So, uh, interesting, interesting. All right, so let's take a look at Chi Chi here. Uh, I have her base kit pulled up. This video is going on for super, super long. Um, I'm just going to quickly zoom through this because I don't expect her to be anything too crazy. Whirlwind Impact, 20% health and 40 key, 20% damage inflicted. Uh, oh, she gets type neutrality for 15 counts. Is that already on her thing? Yeah, she already had that. Okay. Everything besides that is new, I guess. Uh, the unique ability applies the following effects self when the scanner is the battlefield, which is key by 50. It's pretty, is, did she have that already? What were her... Yeah. I was gonna say, there's no way they added that. That's that's, like, that's 50 key. You, you don't really see characters just get 50 key upon switching into the battlefield. That's a lot. That's like an old school legends uh, mechanic that you don't see anymore. Um, okay. 20% blast damage, reduced damage received by 20%. 20%. Why is Flying Effects self if attack girls or Dragon Ball this character's battle member? 20% damage inflicted, 30% key recovery. Universe's strongest wife, 80% damage inflicted against Sun Family. That's that that was already there, uh, and then 40% damage inflicted against all characters except Sun Family. I don't, was that I don't think that existed. Did that? Yeah, no, it was just 80% damage to Sun Family. So I mean, you catch like Goku and Frieza with Chi Chi here. I guess she could do a lot of like the Frieza side of Goku and Frieza with Chi Chi. I guess she could do some some good damage to the, to the Frieza side there. Uh, when battle starts. Yeah, 50% damage inflicted, so it's going to stack on top of this, I guess, and then on top of this for Blast. So it's like, what, 45, 95? Reduce damage received by 30%, 30% key recovery, plus flying effects to allies when this character is switched to standby, 30 key, or sorry, 20 key is nice. Uh, she's healing gradually, 20% damage inflicted by allied tag girls or Dragon Ball, because she's supporting Dragon Ball a little bit, that's pretty good. Um, okay, so next... 
Falling effects to self every time when faced with an enemy. 25% to strike damage inflicted. Why are they like... Why are they... Like, like differentiating between her damage? She's getting blast damage here. Now she's getting just strike damage here. Like, they couldn't have just made this all damage. They couldn't have made this all damage. Okay. Uh, minus three to strike arts cost for 10 counts. Card draw speed for 10 counts. Falling effects occur when enemy performs a vanish step. Okay, so this is the red Kefla effect again. Draws a card and then shortens ah, so count by two. Falling effects occur when enemy performs a vanish step. Okay, we already saw that. And reduces enemy key by 30. That's good. Reducing enemy key by 30 on this effect is pretty good. Uh, falling effects occur every time this character uses a strike arts. She's stacking special move and ultimate damage by 10%. Inflicts enemy that's downgrade. Plus 15% strike damage received. Okay. I mean, this should have been all enemies, but every time she uses a strike card, it's, it's not bad. Why is the falling effects itself upon landing a strike arts hit? Draws a strike arts card next. Activates twice. Okay, so they just straight up gave her <laughs> I left Vegito Blues a thing here. Okay. Applies attribute upgrade. Shortens sub count by two for 10 timer counts. Cannot be stacked. Hmm. So she's she's shortening her own sub camp by two. Okay. Special move is Dragon Attack. Deals major impact damage. Restores own key by 30 upon activation. Inflicts enemy that should be downgrade. Plus 20% of damage received for 20 counts on hit. Um sure. I mean fine. Green card is 20. This is a, this green card, by the way, is like a melee green card. 20% to damage inflicted by 20 for 20 counts on hit. She forced switches. Plus five sub count. Sure. It's not that good. Um, and then of course her Zenkai boat is gonna be green Dragon Ball. Again, the main issue I have with Chi Chi is the fact that she's I'm pretty sure her Z ability is girls, right? Yeah. So I mean it's the same issue that Bulma has where she's not gonna be Z ability buffing the team. So it just sucks. Um, you know what I just realized? We didn't see the ultimates for Goku and Piccolo. I don't believe... I don't think... Yeah, they're not listed here. We have the special move, and then we have the special skill. There's no ultimate here. Same thing with Goku. Special move, special skill. Yeah, there's no ultimates. I don't... Let me, let me refresh this and see if I can maybe scroll down a little bit. Maybe he posted them. No, I don't think so. Okay, well, I mean, we saw everything besides the ultimates, so I uh, guess we'll take a look at what the ultimates do when we actually are able to access the game in a few hours. Let me know down below what you guys think of Piccolo Jr. and Goku upcoming. I think Piccolo Jr. looks like a really, really solid damage dealing character who's also got some pretty decent defensive abilities. Well, I mean, we'll see. Um, it's going to be hard to really judge at this point how characters are going to perform without using them because of how like intricate their kits are. I mean, look how long these unique abilities are at this point. It's just ridiculous. This video is 33 minutes for two characters and one Zenkai. It's just ridiculous how long these kits have become. Look at this. This is one one unique ability is ridiculous. Like, look at look at this. <laughs> this is one unique ability. It's so ridiculous now. Uh, but yeah, let, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.